Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Got a lot of missions with her. Hey there. What's up with you? Speech time. Ooh. I want for endurance. Deacon, uh, Corporal St. John. Good to see you, man. Hey, Sarge. Get ready. Let's go to church. My brothers and sisters in arms. I stand here before you in celebration. The end is nigh. Yeah, Captain yeah, Curry yeah, has right. been working nonstop assembling and training our army. Lieutenant Whitaker has been working tirelessly on a biological weapon that will allow us to kill hundreds of freaks yeah, at yeah, once. Yeah, huh? Lieutenant Weaver is working on a chemical weapon that will allow us to burn down entire hordes soon. Slash and burn will be a thing of the past. We will go from fighting a defensive war to an offensive war. As we take the fight to the freaks. As we work to retake our world. And behold, he said, the enemy who sowed them is the devil. And the harvest is the end of the age. And the reapers are angels. And they will gather out of his kingdom all evil and throw them into the furnace of fire. In that place, yeah. there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. We, the Deschutes County Militia, are those avenging angels. And we are coming. Company dismissed. <sighs> Time for bandages. Taylor. What's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle yeah, of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Why would you give a guy a gun if he's on Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Thanks for the subscription, Heat Resort. Is that lesbian? You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal. Doc. You can't take the doctor into going the Going someplace? Field. 
Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go no, to no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't entiendo. what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Oh... I see. There's something going on between those two. That's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where Dude, I could check out. You can't get what I need there. You. <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab, Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Oh, well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... About damn time. My balls are as blue as the moon right now. Holy fuck. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in this ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to step on his status. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Oh, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I don't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? I, we're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Shut it off! 
You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Damn, how's it feel to get your balls busted like Corporal, that? Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. I'm not... Oh, my God. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't going to let him die, you know, so... Watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to. I didn't want to let him down, so I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive. In that, that's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. But you know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? We discovered Pride Rock. It's right there. We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. I, by the way, I haven't been driving this entire thing. It's been on autopilot. You need your help to move that out of the way. My God, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You gonna help move us or what? Yeah, sure. She gets grabbed, eaten, game over, man, just game over. Hop on, baby. Watch my bat. I'm not talking about the one on my back. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a nearer checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. Where are we going?
We're back up north, boys. Hey, this looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. We passed over there. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. What? What? Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Biometrics, Sarah Irene baby. Whitaker, ID 2007659. Wait a second. Oh, you guys are a little more high tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped up smartphone app. Scary. Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> that means oh she my god. She came back here. What is it? Nothing. It's <sighs> What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be. It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. An electric fence wouldn't prevent people from coming back in. Get out of here. Oh. <laughs> oh, fuck the Itachi! Get impacted by Itachi! Oh my god. It's the birds movie all over again. made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. Alright. <laughs> what the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Go, come on. She fucking knows something. That. That snake. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. You know something, you succubus.
basically Umbrella Corporation right now. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? There's someone living in here. God damn it. I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. What? You know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Well, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. Shoot out the cameras, bro. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. No peeking. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Okay. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. Baby, there's so much more you don't know about me. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? Deacon, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Oh, 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 oh yeah. Down. Mother of fuck. You were saying? Yeah. Oh, this world is stopping anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Do whatever you can to distract them. This is a level. I'll signal you when it's clear. Personnel to the maintenance building. Hey, if you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. It's authorized. Don't need this. They're dead. It's clear. Coming. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Alert. We can do this. Ah! Go down. I love this gun. Ooh, -hoo! collateral with a pistol. What? What? Are you kidding me? You're never gonna see a shot like that again. Alert. Alert. Lined up right this for it. It's clear. Alarm. Multiple Coming. shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. We gotta get up those stairs and through the sky bridge. All right, I'm with you. Take this. 
What the fuck? Oh my god. Here. Coming. Repeater. Go away. I got a repeater in my hand right now, boy. That's all I need. Fuck you. Come on now. What's up? Weapon storage? Whoo! Looks, looks like fun. Jim was stuck I enough. Found baby. Weapons are too good. Weapons are too good. Alert. Stand down and you will not be harmed. <laughs> okay. It's locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Oh God, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey, this time, we go in together. Where'd you come from? Oh my God. Alert. 911 has been okay. called. Police are on their Snipers. way. Up there Stand the down and you will be. I see him. Oh, nice shot. Oh, you didn't kill him. Alert. Alert. This is the There's more of them. I see him. <laughs> Where was the hitbox in that one? One more time. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Get through! Get through! Get this goddamn door locked out! Wow. Jim, wait! Alert! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said. A lot's changed. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Let's make sure it's clear. Yeah, on it. I remember taking this photo. Huh. Alert. Nothing here. Alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Look around, try to find more kerosene. It's clear. Same here. Oh, baby. Treasure trove of kerosene right now. Okay, it's clear. Found some classified research just laying there nonchalant on the table. Alert. No Alert. big deal. Has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will Come on, let's hard. try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 207659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Alert. Alert. Access denied. Sarah Irene alarm. Whitaker, your security clearance has been security revoked. Please see an IT administrator for assistance. Oh, fucking bitch! Hey, hey, going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need a better plan. Oh yeah, you got one? Well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Climb up to the roof from that AC unit. 
You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked out, remember? <laughs> Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. What? Show them your boobies. That'll open the door. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code, ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009, you got that? Uh, 5429009, uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. 5429009. Got it. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. She's gonna give them the rear admiral. Okay, hold on. Ready? Yep. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. If I get their attention, then you go in. Hey, Alert. don't take any chances. has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you Okay. Go. What's up? Beacon Lee, St. John. ID 5429009. Welcome to Cloverdale Research. Up there. She's up there. This is your Dude, first it have to go down like this. Disable voice response. Come on, get her! Damn it, Jim, listen to me! Here we go. Three men, three bullets. Oh, fuck me. Said hands. All right, all right. Just, just tell me what you want. Okay. All right. He's clean. We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know the ones you shot in the head. I don't know what you're talking. About. <clears throat> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. <laughs> Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. <sighs> uh, 
I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jeff. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. Fuck them up! Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. Fuck them up! It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? God, this is my fault. I, I don't understand. You should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system. He got behind the firewall. He told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project. Just he slow wanted, down. And he wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha